everyone. In my previous video, I had discussed about access opening of root canals. Access opening, as we all know, is the key to successful root canal treatment. In today's video, we will discuss the laws of orifice location. Krasna and Rankau, in their studies of 505 chambers, came to a conclusion that we have a definite landmark and there is a definite location for pulp chambers and orifices relatively. So, they came to a conclusion that the cemento enamel junction is a fixed landmark for the location of the pulp chamber and the root canal orifices and they put forth their observations in the form of seven laws. Today's video shall discuss the first five laws by Krasner and Radkow. So let us have a look. The junction between the enamel and the cementum as seen in the cross section of the tooth is the cemento enamel junction. This is an important landmark which is used as a reference to locate the pulp chamber and the root canal orifices. All laws are made with reference to the CEJ. The first law is the law of symmetry 1. It says that in the pulp chamber, if you were to draw a line in the center of the tooth at the level of the CEJ, mesiodistally, the canals in all teeth except maxillary molars will be equidistant from the mesiodistal line. The law of symmetry 2 says that except for the maxillary molars, the orifices of the canals lie on a line perpendicular to the line which is drawn mesiodistally through the center of the pulp chamber floor. The next law is the law of color change. This law says that the color of the pulp chamber floor is always darker than the walls of the pulp chamber and it is clearly evident in the image that we can see. The next law is the law of orifice location 1. It says if we are in a chamber that is the pulp chamber the orifices are usually located along the line angles that is, they are located along the junction of the wall and the floor. The law of orifice location 2 says that the orifices are located at the angles of the junction of wall and floor, that is, at the corner or junction. Once the floor wall junction is clearly seen, all the laws of symmetry and orifice location can be used to find the exact location and position and number of the orifices.